are you enlightened enlightenment means are you a buddha and my answer was <laughs> the person who asked that question must be unenlightened enlightenment means you are conscious and if you ask that question means you are unconscious and throughout my life i was conscious only i was trying to act unconscious in between the crowd of stupid buddhus a buddha means not that you keep away from the people <laughs> that was the cause of all the poverty in this land moving with the people is the greatest enlightenment but move in the crowd but be, be an individual in the crowd means be a be conscious in the crowd a buddha the 13th story from the zen flesh <clears throat> zen bones written by paul rips in tokyo in the meiji era there lived two prominent teachers of opposite characteristics one unsho an instructor in shingon kept buddha's precepts scrupulously he never drank intoxicants nor did he eat after 11 o'clock in the morning The other teacher, Tansen, a professor of philosophy at the Imperial University, never observed the precepts. When he felt like eating, he ate, and when he felt like sleeping, the daytime he slept. Two people always in the society. <clears throat> One time, somebody went and asked, "Sami Chinmayananda ji, Sami Chinmayananda ji is no more. He attained samadhi." That time, Sami Chinmayananda ji was uh, Gita Jnana Yajna was going on, and he was very popular. Somebody when I asked uh, Swamiji, Swamiji, what is the uh, difference between many many Swamijis in this land? Some are talking stupid, some are talking ugly, some are um, enter into this problem, that problem. Many good talks, bad talks about Swamijis. Uh, what do you think about it? And Chinmayan and this reply went shocked. <laughs> it was like a satori <laughs> yes beautiful he said look for the school children you need a nursery for a nursery school you need a nursery teacher for a mid for a primary school you need a primary teacher for high school you need a high school teacher for a college you need lecturers so each department has got if a college professor comes to teach a nursery children will he understand so it depends upon the people if you are have a mind of a nursery you go to the nursery teacher he might be talking the nursery language <laughs> and that doesn't mean he is not a swami ji he is not a priest he is not a saint each one goes according to the society needs circumstances if your mind is the primary primary students mind you go to the primary you go find out which teacher suits you but just because you went to a professor you didn't understand the basic mathematics you yourself do not know mathematics it doesn't mean no it doesn't mean that the professor is stupid <laughs> neither you are stupid you must go to a place where you understand and then from there you grow and then climb to one place to another sub teacher <laughs> In the in Tokyo in the Meiji era, there lived two prominent teachers opposite characteristics. Every every time there were two, even when the when the girl and the boy marries, they are called husband and wife, and everybody expects one boy and one girl to be born in the family. Sometimes it doesn't happen. Sometimes they get two children, two girl children, two boy children. in spite of that even if they have two girl children also you always find two different characteristics one is aggressive one is reserved yes <laughs> so the society yin and the yang is always been balanced even with the with the teachers also one unsho instruction shinkon ke buddha's precepts scrupulously never drank intoxicant nor did he eat even after 11 o'clock in the morning yes he kept it but he was deep rooted the other was a teacher in the university never observed the precepts he never observed the routine when he felt like eating he ate and when he felt like sleeping in the daytime he slept 
One day, Unsho visited Tansen, who was drinking wine at that time, not even a drop of which is supposed to touch the tongue of a Buddhist. Buddhist priests were taught not to touch. Buddhist priests, in the sense, anybody who is in the spiritual line, anybody who is in the literature line, anybody, anybody for that man, intoxicants is not very good. No, no, no. No, no drinking. But here they use intoxicants means it can be the junk food in the society. Here when, he, when the priest went, he found the professor drinking wine means probably eating food which is not prescribed in the book. Professor has to move with the crowd in the, in the society, you must understand. So professor, what he does, when he want, likes to eat, he eats, when he likes to sleep, he sleep means whenever whichever group he goes, he becomes, be in the crowd, but be an individual in the crowd. So there are always the people of two characters. You cannot say they were bad, professor was trying to practice. But he made sure they kept the books properly. But here they didn't keep the books properly because he was a practice, he didn't bother about the books. He knew books or bookish languages, but the materialistic world wants books, so there were two people. Mm. Hello, brother Tansen greeted him. Won't you have a drink? I never drink, exclaimed Uncho solemnly. One who does not drink is not even human, said Tansen. <laughs> the professor just wanted to poke the, the priest and asked him, would you like to have a drink? And he said, no, we are put this, we are not even allowed to touch, touch it. And he said, if you don't drink, you are not you human, means Human beings are having a lot of chanchala. In the sense, uh, the leaders created the chanchala. They broke the family tree. And when it is broken, they're thinking if you bring the, break the family tree, they can have control over a society. So the joint family are automatically dissipated. And when the joint family was not, the people never thought about the family. Husband have no time for the wife, wife has no time for the husband. Even if they have time, they have no time to talk about love. They only have time to talk nonsense about money and money and money. One who does not drink is not even human, said Tansen. Do you mean to call me human? Just because I do not indulge in intoxicating liquids, extreme unsho in anger. Then. If I am not human, what am I? Buddha answered Tansen. <laughs> and he said, if you are not human, what am I? He said, Buddha means a person who follow only the foundation, the book. The person who is following the book is called Buddha. If you want to become human, you have to move with the crowd and you have to eat with the crowd, sleep with the crowd, like Socrates said. To be a leader, you have to be in the midst of the people. You have to eat in the common dining hall, take bath in the common bathrooms, take sleep in the same common dining uh, in the same uh, hall together. Only then wisdom can become knowledge. So Professor knew that one. And on one side, one person is hundred percent following. That is good for the temple because temple priest doesn't mix with the crowd. They are disconnected from the crowd. Hence, most of the temples, churches, and masjids crashed. The priest should move. Now the church fathers were asked to go to around 200 houses to understand the people's problems. So that they, once they understood, they knew the main thing was what they wanted is the first thing is a prayer, a small church. So they constructed that. Then immediately after that is a medicine, so a small hospital. After that, the children wanted a school. They did school. Can you believe? They are doing it. So you can do it even now. These are the two things that one is when you are bookish, you are studied, please stick on to your study materials. But what they are trying to tell is, please stick on to your foundation, to your family tree. Do not get disconnected, but move with the crowd. As Whatever you move to the crowd, you eat or drink. As long as you are connected to the roots, nobody can destroy you. No disease can destroy you. No amount of talk can create fear in you. Please hold on to your yoga shastras, practice of samskriti and then you go anywhere, anywhere. Yes, nobody can touch you. Connecting you to the base creates, makes you a Buddha, an enlightened being. Yes, enlightened being is becoming conscious about your culture, your foundation and the culture of the external world, that culture also is not bad. The moment you say this and that, right or wrong, 
you are in trouble. That is also good. But if they are unconscious, you be conscious. You don't even have to change them. You be conscious and the way you talk, they slowly fall in line because they have no control. They look at the people and if you have become a magnet, of course, they will get attracted and you can change them. You can clean, change them in the sense you can clean the pipelines to make them healthy. Be a Buddha. Enlightened Buddha.